Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Terraria. And you may notice, just as you see my house, that some things are a little different. That's because they are. First off though, let me show you. I did go mining quite a bit, and I ended up getting an intrepid band of regeneration, which slowly, regener which slowly regenerates life, and it makes my melee speed 3% faster. I got an intrepid lava charm, which is the greatest thing in human history. Provides 7 seconds of immunity to lava. That's awesome. And then you get the arcane depth meter, which shows depth and gives me 20 extra mana. And I'm clearly 163 feet above. Now, I have also gotten a tungsten pickaxe, an unpleasant emerald staff, which I made by putting... Uh, I think I killed something, actually, just by doing that. Which I made by doing what's it called? Putting an emerald on a few uh, iron bars, and out pops an unpleasant iron staff, which is very good. I also have a platinum axe. And a topaz hook, which I made with 15 topazes. And I have the same wooden hammer. I also have a, uh, that's pretty much it that's changed for me. I have a lot more money, because I did go mining. But if we want to, also I made uh, my little GUI way bigger than it was before. And a lot of people, since they asked, uh, they want the world map here. I don't know why, that looks, that looks pretty, um, pretty, you know, in the way to me. Well, now with the new GUI, that's way smaller. You know, it should be... It should be, uh... I can understand why, but if I use the magic mirror... You can see that my house is pimping. Alright? To start things off... Let me talk about my... My little blacksmith area that enters to the mine. It has a furnace... A uh, heavy workshop. Didn't mean to do that. Whoopsie daisy. A heavy workshop an anvil, and a workbench, so it allows me to craft basically everything that has something to do with ores and whatnot. If we go slightly below, we have Stefano the Painter's house, and I got some nice paintings in here, and an arcane, an area that allows me to craft, as you can see I have a glass pot, glass, glass jar, on a workbench, so that allows me to uh, easily craft potions and whatnot. Now, uh, I'll go, I'll go into the mine later, but if we move up, this right here, is that a firefly? Get the hell out of here. And I railed that thing. We have Eugene the Merchant. He's a nice guy. He's a nice guy, Eugene. I like him. But this was actually supposed to be my room, and my homie Eugene just moved, kind of moved in here. So it's like, alright, whatever, man. And I got my bed right there. And if I sleep in a bed, my spawn point is set, which is great. And how I got a bed, I'll explain. Stefano's having a hard time out of there. We have Carly the Nurse's room. Very nice brick brick area that I carved into a wall. Alright. Now, if we move a little to the left, I have a loom and a saw mill duster thing. Uh, <laughs> I use these to make, you know, more advanced things for wood. Now, if we move uh, up a little, we have... This is... Someone's gonna move in here eventually. And I have a better storage room. You guys can look in here if you want to see. I have a lot more things mined out. Uh, so... You know, you don't got to see me mine a bunch of useless stuff. But now if we move up here, we have my little stash of uh, copper coins. I didn't know what to put here, so I just filled it up with copper coins. And uh, all these all these little areas up here at the top, well, they're not as, you know, intense as the houses here. They are suitable. Oh, it's not valid housing. Is it really not valid housing? Why not? Does it need to be bigger? I need to figure out why this is not valid housing. I'll be right back. I need to see what's going on here. Alright, I've done a few things, actually, since last recording. I made the screen a little wider, so it shouldn't look this stretched. Because it looked pretty stretched before. I have opened this place up a bit, so the housing is now valid. So people can move in here. And up here, I have literally no idea what I want to do, which is fantastic. So, uh, I, I actually had a plan for this episode. And, um... A lot of people might call me crazy... They'd be saying, I'm doing this way too early, and I could definitely understand why, but I want to do it because. Let me do some stuff really quick. For example, since I have so much tungsten, it would not be a bad idea to see what I can do with it. Because I don't want to I don't, I don't use iron. Iron is really important for building things, so I'm going to try to keep that as it is. I actually know what I want to do, kind of. I, I would like to make a uh, tungsten bow. 
has 10 range damage. This has 13 melee damage, however. Um, I believe the tungsten, the uh, the forceful enchanted boomerang, is slightly better than a tungsten bow would be. Yeah, that's it. That's all I really wanted to try. But now there's no reason to do it because you know it's not bad than anything. So let's see if I could find that uh that thing that I wanted. Um, where is it? Where is it? Here it is. I would like to summon the Eye of Cthulhu and fight him. I I actually have a really nice kind of area. I can do it right up here. So let's give it a go. Oh, here he is. I know it's a little crazy to be doing this without HP potions, but I should be fine. As long as I keep this little thing up that I'm doing right now. If I run enough, there's no way he'll be able to hit me. I say that as he hits me. It would have been smart to get a potion now, would it not have? I don't really know what I was thinking in terms of that. But I'm doing good so far, kinda. I'm not dead yet, so you can look at it that way. His minions that he spawns do give me a fair bit of mana. So I could use that. Oh, the boomerang does a lot of damage if I don't hit him directly. Yeah, the boomerang is good for a while. However, it comes to a point where I kind of have to start killing the minions. Or this could be bad. So far, though, we're doing okay. Come here, buddy. I'm up here. It's getting day. I don't know what happens. Okay. I guess that's what happens if it's day. And, um, you know, Cthulhu spawns. Whatever. Hey, it's the final of the painters in his house. Hooray. Anyway, I didn't die, so that's good. I probably could have beaten him. I also made a terrarium. No idea what that does. I would like to explore a little. Like, you know, move out to the right to see what I could find. Because uh, I haven't really explored my world that much. I did go into the jungle, but I got my ass handed to me very quickly but I, I I am uh I do have some decent strength right now so I should be fine in terms of just exploring and when it gets dark again I can use my magic mirror to uh you know get me back to where I want to be that's just what I'm hoping hoping okay you know all all saying things could go extremely downhill I would like to check out what's going on in this cave I love how the uh, enchanted boomerang provides a light. That is great. Let's see what's up. This is just a big cave, isn't it? Oh, a chest! Angry climbing claws. Allows the ability to slide down walls. Alright, let's take it off housing. So we could put these on. Alright. So loot all of it. And I'll mine the chest. Well, I'd say this was already very productive. Hopefully I can find surface chests, dungeons on the surface. I am not going into the underground jungle. That is something for another day. The under, under, underground jungle is basically a nightmare. It's significantly harder. Is that ore? It is ore. What do we got going on here? Might as well just put some down. Who cares? This is iron, I think. It is iron. All right. Any, any ores close to the surface, I will mine. For the heck of it. Not going to hurt me. And I'll take my torch back. Thank you very much. What hit me? There's a, a jungle slime down here. Alright. Oh, here's a snatcher. I would like to kill this thing to see what it drops. I don't know. I'm kind of new to Terraria 1.4. Someone thankfully told me... There's a chest over there, too. Someone told me that, um... Like, platinum is the new gold and all that stuff. Thank you, because now I know that platinum is a very good resource. Oh, a wooden boomerang. Why not? I'll, I'll take it all. I'm not going to use a lot of it, but I'll take it all. Right now, we're just on the hunt for chests. Yeah, you think you could get away. Get the hell out of here. We're on the hunt for chests and various other assorted rare items. Now, I, do, I like my staff. It's very good. I know a lot of people might not like that I did things off-screen, but a lot of people might really like that I did things off-screen, because trust me, I was moving at a very slow pace before when I was playing this game for the first time. Or not for the first time, I played, I have like 50 plus hours on this game, but when I was playing it uh, for the Let's Play, I was moving really slow. So I just decided, A, 
people don't want to see me walk around like an idiot, I might as well just speed things up. Oh, I got a spear. Spear is really good, but I think the boomerang is a bit better, but I'll take it anyway. Loot it all. We're getting all kinds of stuff right now. Oh, are there torches just popping out of stuff, I guess? Uh-oh, this could be bad. Piranhas are dangerous. There we go, I got him. Fear not. This is a big jungle for a small world. Thank God for this grappling hook, though. I'd be dead, probably, without it a bunch of times. I'd be dead 35 times over. Things I'm looking for, I'm looking for the dungeon and other biomes. Either of those two would be fantastic. And I can always just return home with my uh, fancy dancing magic mirror. Which is uh, kind of what I need to do. Oh, Jesus. Piranha City down there. And this, I like my Emerald Staff, and I know it's unpleasant. I don't know if that, that means it's a good enchantment or a bad enchantment, because you can get, like, bad, bad things like that. Oh, looks like, uh, Guy Mutt the Demolitionist has arrived. He's another NPC that I could sell things to. Is that a vulture? That means we're, that means we're coming close to the, the desert biome, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm sorry for the motorcycle outside. That is really annoying, and I, there's nothing I could really do about it. Yeah, we're... Looks like we're going into the desert for the first time. Oh yeah, this is the desert, all right. Okay, well we were in there for a few seconds. And now we're back into the main world. What? What a weird area. Let me mine this out. There we go, those were the, those were the spiky gloves I had helping me out. That was nice of them. I demolish, what is that? All right, what the hell is this? Things glowing red right now. What do we got? Oh, this is a demon altar, a crimson altar. This does mean I have the crimson. But if we go over here, we can... If I have the right materials, which I don't right now, we can craft all kinds of scary, spooky things that summon bosses and other stuff. Wow, there it's tree city out here. And a lot of people are saying I should mine these trees. I will mine these trees, you know what I mean. I will save that uh, for when I'm not recording, because there's no need for you guys to see that stuff. Um, I don't even have that much. Well, there's the desert. Hello. The desert is one of my favorite biomes. It's actually the first one I lived in. I really do like the music. It's freaking nice and crazy out here. And I will... I'll cut down one cactus. Because I'm pretty, like, 12% sure that you can grow these or something. What is this? Oh, a new biome that I've never discovered ever. Okay. I also would like to make a dock for fishing. I don't know. I don't know how I'm supposed to go about fishing. No. Oh, palm wood. Did that let me do stuff I couldn't do before? Oh, dice. Look at that. Some cool music out here. I've never actually been in this biome before. The fuck is that thing? I totally wasn't drowning. Uh, piranhas and sharks are ugly. So ugly. Did you know that there's a fish that looks very pretty and still eat your face off? I pay two platinum to see it happen, by the way. I don't know. I can't fish yet. I don't know what the hell this guy wants. I'm gonna get out of here. Oh my god. I'm gonna try to traverse this. I don't know if this is an endless ocean or something. Is that a crab? There's a crab trying to kill me. Ooh, pink jellyfish. If it comes to the point where I'm about to drown, I will just use the magic mirror. And we can start walking the other direction. And it... Definitely looks like I'm gonna drown. So let's just whip out the magic mirror unless there's... Oh, there's crimson altars everywhere. Alright. Made that in time. Now let's start journeying to the left a little. I know I spawned here, but... I also started planting all my trees, my acorns. Right around here. So that way I, uh... I have a steady wood supply. Which is great. It's absolutely fantastic. Now I just hope the crimson isn't past that giant ocean biome, because that would just be really annoying. I'm just hoping. If it is, I'll, I'll learn to uh, avoid it, but I just hope it's not. Hello, slime. You are gonna die today. I was about to let him live, then I forgot that I am the slime killer. Let me get some of these mushrooms, too, because with enough mushrooms and an empty glass jar, I will be able to make... Whatchamacallit? Here's my first little hut. Wow, this thing is disgusting. I will be able to make 
Uh, potions. There it is. I also should start making farms soon, shouldn't I? I have shurikens. Whoa. Should start making farms, shouldn't I? That is a good idea. But I'll do all that stuff off screen. Tell me if you guys want me to do stuff off screen, because I will do stuff off screen. It will make the series shorter, and after the series is over, I plan on playing a game that a lot of people, I don't really know how they feel about it, but it'll all depend, because after this game is over, uh, I will, I don't even, oh, is this a snow biome? It is a snow biome. Snow biome is crazy, man. I might mine just a little bit of snow. Yeah, I might mine a little bit of snow, because I... The underground snow biome, by the way, guys, for those who are unaware, is a nightmare. I will show you. Oh, good. I got a nice little area to show it off right now. How convenient. Let's see what we got going on in here. You can find things like ice chests, to which I didn't find here, but I'll mine some ice. That sounds gross. It sounds like someone, like, hitting something, and I don't like it. I'll come back here and uh, later and see what I... I don't know what I can do with the ice blocks or snow. I know I can make like snow bricks and make an igloo, which would probably be the greatest thing ever. God damn it. It's probably be the greatest thing ever. God damn it. But uh I don't know about that. We'll see. God damn it, there we go. God forget it. That ice slime just spawned. I don't know how that got there. Alright, now we can get moving. Man, the music here is creepy crawly. I don't like it. Yeah, I know about that little thing where if you use the grappling hook at the right moment and the right time, you can get a little little boost. I kind of messed it up there. Get it right there. But I, there's water here, so. Oh my god, it's the crimson. Well, now would be a good time to show off the crimson. This place is filled with nightmares. Oh, it's just a little tiny bit of the crimson. It's not, it's not full-out crimson. Let me explore here. Now this block right here, I cannot mine. So, don't don't tell me to mine the block, because I can't mine the block. I, uh... The Crimson is an, is, it's an extremely dangerous place. Pretty scary, too. Like, look at how deep this crap is. There's some demon altars. Crimson altars, whatever you call them. Yeah, the Crimson is not a, is not a happy place. It is a very scary... In fact, if I turn on my world map, you'll see just how big this tunnel is already. And it's probably... Oh, and there's all kinds of baddies in here, too. That's worth mentioning. Bad baddies that are hard to kill. These enemies are tougher than just regular ones that you find on the overworld. As you can see, by him dealing 30 damage. A hit. I don't really mind if I die out here, because now that i found the Crimson, uh, there's all sorts of stuff that I can do. Oh my goodness gravy. The chimeras are tough. Is that what they're called? Yeah, no, chimera. Crimera. Sorry. There is some stuff that I would like to collect first, such as, uh, vertebrae. If I get ten vertebrae, I believe, I know this stuff at least. Let me start using shurikens. Oh, this music is horrifying. Oh, I'm so gonna die. Yeah, I'm dead. If I get enough vertebrae, I can end up you, with using a Crimson Altar, I can end up creating a Bloody Spine, which can be used to summon the Brain of Cthulhu, which is another boss, but it can only be found in the Crimson. Well, look at all this palm wood stuff, Jesus. This is looking cool. Palm wood is all kinds of dope. Is there palm wood seeds? I don't know. Yeah, look at this stuff. It looks, stuff looks cool. Stuff does indeed look pretty cool. And I can also make cactus... All kinds of cactus crap that I'm never gonna use. So I'm gonna stay away from that. Now let me just craft some iron bars. Might as well. Let's see if I can quick stack anything. Yeah, I can. And I know about my money. I won't forget about that stuff. As soon as I can make a piggy bank, I will. I just completely forgot how to make it. Whatever. I don't really care about money right now. Money is... Not one of my concerns. Is there anything actually... I haven't checked, um, I haven't checked out Gimut, the Gaimut, the just demolitionist. No, there's nothing really I would like in here. Oh, well, man, he tried. 
These golden chests really are going to be all the storage I'll ever need. I think. Let's see, let me... This is my little plant, my plant chest. I put all kinds of plant stuff in here. Uh, uh, and potions. These are actually pretty good potions I picked up. Some grenades. Nice. Let's see, what don't I need? Water leaf, cactus can go here. Day bloom can go here. That's about it. Now we go into my chest for all kinds of fun stuff. Put grenades, ice blocks, because I mined it underground, I guess. I don't know. I'm not super de duper organized when it comes to this stuff. I, I'll, I'll find it, though, if I'm looking for it. So it doesn't really make that big of a deal. It doesn't really make that big of a difference, I mean. And I actually, the I'm going to stay alive for tonight, and I'm going to kill some stuff. Especially demon eyes. Because when I do that, I can, I can make a... And I have Cthulhu on the Crimson Altar. Sorry, this is taking me a while. I'm getting a little dopey right now. On the Crimson Altar. And with that... I got hurt. Ow. With that, I can summon the Eye of Cthulhu, and I can take him out. I ain't letting him get away next time. Where's what I'm looking for? There's the acorn. Gotta replant. You know what I'm saying? Alright, let's go over here now. Actually, I should be fine. Just kind of fend stuff off over here. Or I can do it on the ceiling. Yeah, the ceiling is where all the, the demon eyes would come after me. Um, so I'm going to fast forward until it gets dark to the point where demon eyes start spawning. So until then, I'll see you guys. Oh, look, I found a fallen star. All right. Actually, let me go back to the house really quick. Because I believe I have four fallen stars in a chest. And uh, with that, I can obviously make... If you guys haven't noticed yet, I have one extra mana crystal. What are you? What the hell is this thing? When did she move here? Get the hell out of here. Give me a quest. I don't want I don't want to do a quest right now. Where are my stars? Come on. If I quick stack, uh no, if I quick stack I can find them. I know I have four stars somewhere. Do I not? Oh I do, it's right here. Alright, now I can make a mana crystal and just eat that or something. Let's see what quest you have to offer me, actually. Piranhas and sharks are ugly, so... Oh, you've already suggested me this quest, you stupid lady. Alright, let's see if I can... See what I can do with the arcane grappling hooks or whatever they're called. Yeah, you can climb walls with these. With a with a hook, there's not really any point to it. And by the way, if you press E, you can just... kind of. Where, where are the enemies? That's what I want to know. If you press E, you can easily, um, what's it called, just speed on right through. Where are the, you could use the grappling hook, by the way, that's what I'm saying. I, I don't see any enemies. I might as well just go hunt for falling stars, because there are no enemies. It's crazy, this is nonsense, what the hell's going on here? I gotta show you guys a mine eventually, too, that thing is huge. I'm just gonna go get falling stars, because, oh, there's a zombie. I need I don't need to kill zombies though. I need to kill the demon eyes Which are nowhere to be found You want to fight bro? I'll, I will mess you up Get the hell out of here And I really am looking forward to fighting Cthulhu's brain because that was the only boss in this game that I've actually beaten And uh, when you fight Cthulhu's brain he drops Crimtain ore and Crimtain ore is very good I think it's above platinum which is above uh, which is above the thing that starts with a T. It's the title of one of my episodes, I can't remember it though. Which is above... Oh, get the hell out of here, you are done. I ran out of things at the wrong time. God damn it. Ran out of mana. Used to light up the way. But now it's backfiring. There, I got him. And he dropped a lens, hooray. I'll use this until I have to, uh, quick switch over to my staff. Oh look, there's a bunch of zombies. Now, the snow biome at night is not a good thing, because you can find zombie Eskimos here. Not that hard to kill. So, you know, you can get a... I got an Eskimo hood, what the hell? What am I supposed to do with an Eskimo hood? What does it do? One defense. Alright, well, my tongue's the helmet gives me four defense, so how do you like that? 
Yeah, zombie Eskimos are, uh, Eskimos, I think they're called. No, Eskimos. Excuse me. Zombie Eskimos are, uh, not exactly the hardest things to kill. And if I could find one more, uh, what's it called? I might also build some outposts out here. I know it sounded weird, but I'll do that. Or I could just, uh, if I want a journey, I could just save. Not save. I could, uh, kind of rest up a bit, restore some HP and whatnot. Why did the desert music start playing? It didn't. I'm just going crazy. Another fall. I'm looking for fallen stars right now. But as you guys can see, progress has been made. And uh, I might do a few more things off screen, depending on whether or not you guys want it. Ooh, an Eskimo coat. Hold the front door here. Oh, there's a thing. And we're in the crimson. Which might be good. Did you drop a lens? I don't think you dropped the lens. Whatever. I want to put on this Eskimo hood. Give me two defense. How do I look with it? I don't know, but I'm looking... I know that I'm looking like the flyest guy ever right now. I need to get all these Eskimos. Get all kinds of money. Kill Eskimos, get money. You know, that's the saying. Alright. Let's go into the Crimson. How many lenses do I have? One? I'm gonna need more than one. My friends. However, I will kill this thing. I'll, I'll hope to get a vertebrae in here. I'll try for it. I like how it's snowing in a cave. Not suspicious at all. It is gonna suck wiener to get out of here. Yeah, can I do anything? I didn't think so. Kinda knew that, to be honest. Where? Down here! I'm gonna call this the main hive right here because there is all kinds of baddies out here. And there's nothing here. There's something. There's two things. Let's get that a little bit to the right. And if you destroy these things, but you gotta do it with a special hammer, you can get uh you can get some really good stuff. So I'd highly recommend destroying them when you can. Got a vertebrae, hooray. Ah, I just rhymed there. No, the hearts. These disgusting things right here. If you destroy them with a hammer, um, bad things will happen, but also you'll get good items and stuff. So, as soon as I can, I'll be taking those bad boys out. Let's see if I can... Let's see if I can lead some guys up here. I can't. Oh my god, the music in here is something else, man. I'm getting a good amount of vertebrae, though. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, I didn't mean to kill you, but you didn't drop a vertebrae, so you... You were useless to me. If any of these guys drop a vertebrae, I am now realizing that I'll have to go down to get them. That does not sound very fun. This staff does work, though. Yeah, you get some face monsters down there. This place is a nightmare, I'm telling you guys. Wow, that guy on the motorcycle is kind of a douche. It's 8.15 at night. He's riding his motorcycle around everywhere. I think he's tough nuggies. Oh, my goodness! Oh, jeez! No, I don't make escapes like that all the time. That was close. They're coming after me, though. There's a vertebrae, hooray. That was... a little too close. There's fucking horrifying noises, guys. I'm telling you. God. Spooky. I almost have a good amount of vertebrae. Let me put on the Eskimo hood in my social. Oh, yeah, I look like a nice Eskimo. That might be my social gear, the Eskimo. Oh my god. Where did you even spawn, buddy? These noises are something else. If I hit them, will they see me? No, I can just kind of kill them freely. Oh, that guy spees me. Oh, jeez. That guy spees me. Look at these creatures. Is it five I need? I, I think it's ten. I'm really saying it's ten. I'm gonna need for the bloody spine. Wow. I don't even know what is happening right now. He sees me, hello. Friend. Alright, let's take a breather here because I'm about to jump into the hive. Get the hell away from me, you freak. I wanna see if I can make a little... Like, in there. These noises are, uh, fucking horrifying, might I add. I need to kill this guy. There's a vertebrae. I'm going for it. 
Oh god, it is so scary down here. I gotta kill these things. Right now. Oh god! Run to safety. I have found safety. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna have to fight a couple guys at once here. Yeah, oh yeah, they go in water. I was about to ask, do they go in water? Just got my question answered. Okay. Now, I don't know if... I'm pretty sure these guys still spawn in light. So, putting light down doesn't even matter. Do I need something else to, uh... Make the bloody spine? I think I might. I'm gonna go check that out right now. Hold on a second. Be right back. Yeah, okay, I was wrong about needing 10 vertebrae. I actually need 15. Which is a lot. Oh, God, get the thing out! Oh, Jesus. I can't really afford to lose that much health. Play 15? No, I just need one more vertebrae. So I get summoned in the bloody spine. Doesn't that sound fun? What the hell is going on down there? There's some ore right there that is very good. Oh, uh, and that leads out to the ice area. I am blind. Alright, I almost died right there. But I, I, I've really been like in Terraria. I haven't played it since the update, so I'm not exactly a master on everything. But I do know a few stuff. And I, I also know that it's time to make the bloody spine. Spine. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Summons the brain of Cthulhu. We'll keep that. Well, I've accomplished what I needed to. I could see this on the world map. Yeah, there's nothing, really. It doesn't show that much. It's kind of, kind of unfortunate, because this area... This area is intense, to say the least. Alright. If I could just get on this ledge there. I need to get up there. See, if I didn't have my... Oh, I could do this. Hello. I'm full retard for a second there. I will keep uh, collecting vertebrae, because... What? Oh, piranhas spawn in there. That's great. I will keep collecting vertebrae, because I will end up... Uh, Needing them eventually, I think. Oh yeah, I'm gonna kill more than one brain of Cthulhu because they're not that hard of a boss, to be honest. But their drop, it, it it's its drop is superb. Yeah, it's a big word. How do you like that? I killed a jellyfish over here. Is what I killed. It was a golden chest. Let's see what's up in this torch. A cloud in a bottle. Oh my god. This is one of the best items in the game. Cloud in a bottle. Let's see, what could I replace it with? I don't really need... To be honest, I don't need the climbing claws. Cloud in a bottle. Oh, what is happening? Well, this is ominous. There. Now I can see. Oh, you guys ain't gonna kill me. I'm getting that golden chest. It's not happening, friends. They're not my friends. I'm just kidding. Uh, cloud in a bottle. You'll see what it does really soon. It is like that. I can double jump, kinda. It's not exactly a double jump, but it does let me hang out in the air for a longer time. Get more air time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. These guys are, these guys are desperate coming after me. Because I may escape. I want to see what's going on a little bit more to the left of here. So I don't exactly want to use the mirror yet. Uh, but I will if I have to. Alright. Come on, just get on it. I almost had it there for a second. I felt it. Oh. Well, that's a shame. At least I got all my stuff. Am I right? Thank God I'm playing on the difficulty that I'm playing on. Otherwise, things could go downhill. Anyway, let me see what I can quick stack here. There's definitely some stuff I can do. I don't need the angry climbing claws, so I'll just stick them in there somewhere. Uh, what else we got going on here? That should be fine. I put, I have a, I have a potion or two, I believe. Yeah, there's a night owl potion. That's it, pretty much. Put the vertebrae gold chest down there. Well, I'm going to end off this episode, guys. Uh, we accomplished quite a bit. 
So until next time, I will see you guys later.